So, um, uh, we said uh, we were going to divide um, the Tajweed that we are learning into two groups. We said the first group was related to Wow, Ya, and Elif. And these are mad letters. Yes? And then we said 1.1, 1.2, up to 1.6 yeah? and they were all named with med in them right. you will always see med so what was the first one? med ok, what was the second one? med what was it? 1.3 3, 1.3, med 1.4? Med. 1.5? Med. 1.6? Med. What is med? <laughs> huh? I remember the last one was Lazmi. <laughs> okay, so what is med? I'm going to say med, 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 med. med. What's it? Stretch. Stretch. Elongation. <laughs> okay, you prolong it. Yeah. Med. And well, how do you do that? You do it with these three letters. Mm. But these three letters will be inactive form, in the inactive form like it, they will not have so they will not have so will not have yeah Fatha Kasra Dhamma Okay so this is that this is the down bit. This one is that. What? Right? Sukun. The sukun. No, sukun means it's like the. Where do you put this on top of that? Sukun or or in that state? It is in a in a state of cycle. In action or inactive. inactive. It is just there to help some other guy on its own doesn't have the motion. It's almost like um, in order to make these like move, you just put these on top of them or on the bottom. So on their own, they help. That's why we always start med, med, med. And what was the first one? Med, tabi'i. So we said like fundamental, right? I don't know how others translate it or something, but I call it fundamental. You can call it like original. <coughs> like the basic, the elementary method. And which was just these. Qa, Lu. It's just, and then one length, we said. One length is this, all about one second. But two beats, something. Okay. So, med. So we said Munfasl first. Munfasl is? What is Munfasl? It's in a word. Separated, yes. Two separate, in two separate words. So in these two, like Munfasl and Muttasl, so what were the commonalities? Hamza. Okay? So we are looking for Hamza and also. Just before Hamza, we are looking for one of one of those three, right? But for this one, same in 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 same word hmm. in the same. So and for this one, separate, separate words. What what we meant by that Hamza? is going to be in a separate word and Elif, Wow or Ya is going to be in a separate word. The example was Ya Ayyuha. So Elif in Ya is in a separate word. A Yuha, like Hamza in a separate word. So it's Mufasl. And for Mutasl, Ja is just one word. So that was the main thing. And then we talked about <coughs> men, lean. 
And for that one, we don't have uh, elf well there. We just have well and yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and what? Before these, you have a yeah. letter with, uh, with Fatha. Right? So, Fatha. And any letter. Any letter. Can I call the letter X? Probably not. No. I can't call it X. But, but what I'm trying to say is any Arabic letter which can take Fatha. Uh, any letter. So let's say mm -hmm. any letter on top of it, it's going to be. Actually, I will call it, okay? Let's say N for any Arabic letter. Yeah? So N stands for any Arabic letter. So I just put it here. Yeah. yeah. So before these two, there will be a letter to which I denote by N. It could be Qaf, Lam, any letter. But it has to have Fatha. Yeah? So, and, so we have like, you know, this is the first letter and then this is the second bit. Third, the end bit, in, and any letter, yeah? Any letter, and, is gonna have Jasmine or Sukun. So you will stop. Like, we said like khawf, look at that. Look kha, wow, and then fa. Yeah? Khawf. But actually this was not khawf, it was like khawfing, hmm. but because we stop on it. So khawf, that's it. So this was medellin. Yeah? And then we, so medarif, so I put this here. This means like this is ain, okay? Arif, okay? This was like temporary. So it would happen when you stop. Like for example, Ya'lamun. Yeah? Because you're stopping, you can't elongate. Right? So, and if you do not stop, it is fundamental. Right? You just go over. Ya'lamun. But when you stop, Ya'lamun. You can. So when we say, Asana Bismillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You see at the end, when I say Alameen, Al Rahman al Rahim, Malik Yawmid Deen. But if I do not stop, if I carry on, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Al Rahman al Rahim, Malik Yawmid Deen. You see, like, just continue. And uh, you're not elongating like you can elongate in the medal. Like medal gives you this um, freedom to elongate more, like uh, uh, when you stop. So, but we also mentioned that uh, it does not necessarily, yeah, has to be at the end of a verse. It can be anywhere, as long as you stop. Uh, after many times. And then, this was Nazim. Yes? And uh, this was uh, in two categories. Kalima, like word category, and letter. Yeah? So, when we get like, uh, yeah, uh, Elif Lam Mim, and for word, we said like, well, Dalim, or say, um, so, Ballin. Okay? And then, word was like a heavy, like heavy word and light. Same with like letter, heavy, mm -hmm. heavy light. Okay? Like for example, for light, you can say ha -meen. Okay? So, Elif la -meen, we said like la -meen. There's a shadda there. 
Okay, so because we said lam like this, so this was shadda, and um, so this is like same like lam mi. Yes, and ha mean like you have me, and then you see after the there is sukun like jazm letter. So what that makes that makes it right. Because there's no shadda, so it's mad lalu. So and say, and for the light, the only example was in Surah to Yunus al ana. Yeah, that's it, perfect. So this was the four categories. So now only two of them, so this one and this one, is wajib. Okay, you have to stick by the rules there. Now in the uh, other ones, also this one, like you have to, you know, like you can't play around. Now. Let's say the other ones, if you do not, didn't do it or this, that, yeah, like, um, because there's ikhtilaf on them. Hmm. When I say like ikhtilaf, whether they are uh, permissible or, or necessary to do it. This is the ikhtilaf on, on these. Hmm. Some scholars say it is wajib to practice. Some say um, it is not wajib exactly. But still, all these rules are there to practice. So we should practice these rules. We should not like say, no, oh, this is, uh, you know, wajib and this is that, blah, blah, like, you know. So we should practice them properly. And uh, and we said like this was 50% of the Right? So, alhamdulillah, we have done I think very useful work in two hours. Okay, now uh, at the beginning I said we uh, categorized uh, the Tajwid rules into two groups. This was the first group, and the second group was about Nunu Saikin. Right? So, do you remember? Do you remember at the beginning? Yep. Okay. So now, you know how we said the first one is related to Elif Wa Wanya? Mm. Was it related to Elif Wa Wanya? Yeah. Because in all of them we're looking for Elif Wa Wanya. So this one, we are looking for Nun Saki. And when we do this, inshallah, 90% of Tejuit is going to be over. So, in, in a sense, it's all about well, yeah, Elif and Nunusag. The other 10% is bits and bobs. Well, very imbo important, right? You know, it's not like... But yeah, very important. This, okay, so let's do this one. Now, um, Nunusagin... Oh, you know, some, some write it as like... Saki... Saki... Nah. Something like that. So... But the main thing is... Forget about the terminology. Yeah? What I want to emphasize here is this is all about picturing. So when you see noon with this or noon like this, <coughs> depends on the Quran or nothing. Yeah? Oh, by the way, always and always use one type of Quran. Mm. Okay? Do not change your Quran. Especially when you're practicing your tajweed. Hmm. For example, if uh, someone who memorized the whole Quran, can you use any Quran? Doesn't need, you know, you can read from any Quran. But for people who has uh, not memorized the whole Quran, just stick to one type of Quran. Even people who memorize the Quran, they stick to one type of Quran. Because it, you, it makes you feel comfortable, especially because you know with different types of uh, like uh, writings, so you know your eyes are accustomed to 
one sort of style and the other one and this that. So this, this is the reason. And also, you see like uh, these sort of changes if you are a beginner. So that's why I just stick to one type of Quran and then just, um, yeah, ignore the rest. So let's see. Um, um, so Nunu Saitin. Uh -huh. So we said Nunu Saitin. And the other one was Tanwin. Yeah? So how did we define Tanwin? Tanwin was this one, that one, and that one. So what is this? This is N. Okay. Okay, sorry. This is in. This is an. And this is un. Right? Huh? So now what is the difference between Tanwin and Unusakin? No Technically, no difference. It's just the difference is in, in writing. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, for example, um, if we say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, let's say, Badha. Okay? Say, Qad. Qadha. Okay? So, it's Qadhan. Okay? So, so Qadhan. So when you stop here, there is a stop sign there, you stop as God ha. Okay? So this tanween, it's a tanween. Okay? So when you stop here, you stop as God ha. Right? You, it's okay, let's, let's write this. God ha. So you, you stop as like this. Because like in the Okay? Yeah, go on. Why do you stop like that? It's just a rule, like. No, I mean, like, but according to what you're saying, what's mm. the what's the logic behind it? No, because there's no uh, like uh, logic. No, what I mean is that's a, that's a rule. Like, so yeah. when this comes, it gets ignored at, before a full yeah. stop. Okay, fine. Like when you uh, for like okay, this is قد mm. ha. Okay. So, and can we, um, like, what I'm trying to say is, um, now for example, you know, uh, why are we elongating when there's wilder? No, why are we doing this? Oh no, I wasn't questioning. I just actually didn't know that was a rule. I'd forgotten. So oh, this one? Have, yeah. So oh no, no, this is specific. I gave this example now, mm -hmm. just specifically. Right. Okay. I will give like uh, specific examples like this, so to cover like almost everything. Mm -hmm. So, whenever you see Tanwi, like this is called, this is Fathatayn, mm -hmm. okay? Like two Fathats kind of thing. So when you see this, and then you want to stop, you stop as like this okay if you want to carry on you say okay so and you you write that as God um, God hand okay like this you see like, what is the difference between um, Tanwin and Nunusaki? Literally, no difference. So, if I want to, so in order not to write this extra letter, you know, just to cut it short, they just put Tanwin. Yeah. So, why, if there was, let's say, you know, here, let's say it is not Han, but Hin. Okay? then you can't stop as he, okay? This is only valid, you know, this stopping, by the ha, like, like. <coughs> so because here, rule 1.1, 1 .1, fundamental. Hmm. Like, ha, you can practice that. But if it was hin, this is kesrate, you can't say he. This is only valid for fathatay, all right? So by the ha. 
Now, uh, my point was, Nunes Hakim or Tanwin, they are the same thing. Alright? Just see them as the same thing for our purposes. Right? Because we Understood? Clear? Good. Okay. So now, uh, let's go to uh, let's go to some other examples. Alright. So now we are detectives of what? Nunes Hakim. We are looking for Nunes Hakim. Like we look for all the, the other like three yeah. amigos. Yeah. Or you can say yeah. While we are in it. Alright? So um tell me. Uh -huh. So now let's call this two point one. 2.2, 2.3, and then we call it Ilhar, okay, and then Idram, and then Ikhla, and then Ikhla. All right, so. So idhar means clear, okay? It's clear. So now we'll understand like how, how these are related. All right. So so what are the letters of idhar? Now you know what? Before we were saying, oh, we need to look for like why we are elif, and then when we see why we are elif, what comes after why we are elif? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was our mentality. Now we are looking for. Numus Hakim. And then we are saying, ah, what comes before Numus Hakim? Yeah? What comes before Numus Hakim? So, uh, Ilhar happens with, uh, there are um, six letters of Ilhar. Let's, let's write these. So, six letters for Ilhar. Okay, what are they? So ha, so ha, and then so rain, and then you have ha, any type of ha, okay, like whether it is at the end, in the middle, or written like this, okay, it's just ha, uh, okay, so this is ha. So one, two, three, four, and then you have Hamza. Okay, so let's number them one, two, three, this is four, five, and then what is the sixth one? The Ain. Huh? Ain. Yes, so the sixth one is Ain. Alright, so six. So now, um, we are looking for noon, and then what comes after noon? Same, same like uh, we were looking for while we are elif, and what comes after while we are elif. Oh, Hamza comes. Mutasl or Mufasl. Oh, Shedda comes with the last. So now, looking for Nunu Sakin. What comes after Nunu Sakin? Bam. If these six letters come after Nunu Sakin, it is Idhar. Just uh, one example. Let's give an example. An. Hmm. Okay. And whom? There you go. This is our culprit. Yeah. This is the noon sakin that we were looking for, and we found. It. What comes after noon sakin? Ha. Is it one of these letters? There you go. Ha. So this is called idhar. Clear. So in this case, you just read it as it is. And whom? You don't like to like anything like elongation or this. First of all, forget about elongation. Right? So, Anhum, right? 
Okay, good. So um, another example is min. Okay, min e. Okay, same thing. Noon cycling. Ooh, we found it. It's here. After noon cycling, what comes? Hamza. That's it. So min e. Done. So, and uh, I will give you now one. So these are just um, examples of noon cycling. Like manifested there explicitly. So now let's look at tanween example. For example, um, say ta ta okay, say ta mun il. Okay, you see, now this is tanween, okay. And after ten minutes, what comes? Hamza. Where is it? Hamza? There you go. One of the letters of Isha. So you just say Ta'amun illa. You see? Ta'amun illa. You just read it normally. It's clear. Clear cut. So, so you are looking for this, this, that, and Nun Saikin. These four things. They're all the same, <coughs> but in, like in a different like uh, form. Well, actually, this reminds me of something. Okay, so so this means you do nothing basically. You no, you just just uh, so normal, clear, right. really. Okay, so this is your part. Now let's come to uh, it's, it's, it's any of the four letters, you know, the six four letters. Any yeah, yeah. So these are four letters. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So I will just uh, all right. So let's do now uh, it one. Um, no, we should do it now. Okay. Okay, idram means yeah, to mix, okay, to put one thing into another, okay, so this is like a, and uh, so idram letters are, uh, there are six of them, so what are they? Uh, they are uh, nun, mim, wow, yeah, Ra and la, right? Six. So some 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 write it as like you know to remember. Yamalun in this in this word, all the letters. So yeah, you can do this like you know, like uh, Yamalun. So there you go. So Yamalun. Does that mean anything? So if if you know all these things, yeah, then um, like you, can, like you, you can codify them in in anything. Like uh, you know, um, uh, for example, you can uh, even there's something for this. But the bottom line is, you just have to find your own, own way of like you know making things uh, uh, easy for you. So it doesn't necessarily like you know. Don't need to write all this. All you have to know is know these letters, yeah, and then. Um, so this is idram. Now idram has two uh, sections. One is refer to these four letters. The other one is these two. Okay. So uh, we say idram. So these two, okay, are idram, bilahunna, okay, so bilahunna, 
Wunna is like you know a, a like nose like um, noise from your nasal cavity. Yeah. Okay. So Wunna. Ah, I will not write it. It's just you know, just say Bila Wunna. So, and uh, this one is so. Uh, we look for a letter, uh, um, Noon, and uh, let's give one example. An. Yeah, Rob, Rob, So, I'm, Rob, Okay. Now, what we do is, so this is Bila Abunna, okay? Let me, sometimes it's hard to leave all the terminology and just, okay, Abunna, but at least I'm not, I'm just writing it in, not writing it in Arabic. Okay, so this is like a, it's like uh, noise, yeah, noise from from nasal cavity. Okay, so when you say bila, yeah, this is like without. Okay, in the arm. So now, what are we doing? We are looking for noon cycling. We found it, and after noon cycling, we have what? Ra. Ra is one of the idam bila bunna letters. The arm letters, okay, which is here. Right. So then uh, we recite this by mixing this to that. How do you do that? So normally, if it was idhar, you, you just read an rabbihim. Now, because this is idhar to mix like merge, so you just say ar rabbihim. Yeah, so in a way. This is is being turned into like Ra with with sukun, like Ar Rabbihim. Yeah. So you don't you lose the noon n sound yeah. completely. You don't yeah. try and blend it in. Yes. So you just say Ar Rabbihim. Okay. But you just do the idram here. Idram is to mix. Yeah. So you don't do hunna. Now we will see with these four. We will also do this. Uh, you know. Sound is gonna come from the nasal cavity, but this one, no sound, nothing. That's why it is without wunna, so that sound is not there. So this is ar rabbihim. You see, ar rabbihim, easy. Yeah, okay. So, and the other example that I can give, that quickly, the illam, like if you had like noon here, and then lam after that, then let's say there's. Hamza here. E, you like in le. Okay, this is in le. But because after you say this lam, you don't let you just say illa. Mm. Yeah, so then this becomes like that. So illa. So le illam. Okay, good. So this is, this is a good example. So let's go to. This one. Now this one is idram. Idram what? Ma'al hun. So ma ma'al. So hun. Okay. So hun. So it means you will you will merge with uh, with this uh, sound from nasal cavity. So example. Do example. Okay, there are two most prominent examples of this. Yeah, I will give you now. But first, um, let me tell you the uh, other ones. Uh, right. Oh, by the way, you know, for this, again, if you see tanween, and then after tanween you see lama ra, same thing. And uh, like for example, run, okay, and then lam, okay. You see, there's tanwin, run, li. Yeah. So you just say run li, hmm. okay, as if like ru, and then lam, and then this one. So it's like run li, because you know if you write this down, this is like, this is like a ra. Noon, lam. Isn't it? Hmm. And you just turn this into 
Yeah? This is uh, the Tanween case. So you can... Alright, so... So for, for this one, uh, let's, uh, let's give this example quickly. Um, Mim, let's say Mim. Okay, Mim. Masad. Okay, you see afternoon sakin. What do you see? Mim. There you go, Mim. So this one is Ma'alghunna. Uh, what do we call it? Idgham Ma'alghunna. Mixed with this noise. Now we're gonna make the sound. Yeah. How do you do it? So. The first thing you do, you mix it. How do you mix it? So we said, me, noon is going to turn into what? Me. Yes? So it became like now, like this meme here, okay? Meme, me, another meme. Sorry, okay. So, mesel. Mesel. Okay? So, meme mesel. So you turned it, this is the first thing. Second thing, when you turned it, because if, if these four letters, they will make that sound. So you will say, Mim said. So from your nose, you will make sound. Mim said. Do it. Do it. What sound do you mean? Like, like just, just no sound. Like like uh, the and like air is gonna come from from your nasal cavity. Yeah, mm. When when do I make the sound? Uh, when you join it, like when you make the idram, when you make mix it, like mim masad mm. at this point. So I, I can't just say mim masad. No, you have to make that sound because we this is idram ma'alunna mm. idram, yani that joining mm. mixing with that sound. Hmm. Whereas these two without the sound. Hmm. Okay, now can you make it please? So uh, mim. Yes, yes, good, good. Okay. Mim masad ud. Mim masad. No, mim hold it as well, like mim masad. Uh, mim masad. Good. Yeah. So mim masad. Mim masad. Good, good. Okay, yeah, perfect. So this is um, uh, this is it, and and all the other examples are similar, okay. Same like if you see after like tanween for example, uh, you do um, same. Uh, let's give one example. Um, Okay, let's say, let's say there's meme, okay, and tanween, and then after that there's wa, okay? So, so you say this, like that, look, first let's do the joining, okay, ma, and then ma wa, okay? Because this was, in, uh, as a matter of fact, was a meme, noon, wow, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? So we joined it. First, we make the, like we turn noon into wow. Mm. Mix it. And then, now, in, at this state, we will make the sound. So, then this becomes, but with wow, it's very important. Lips will be forward. Like this, okay? Wa, wa, always, yeah, wa. So ma, wa, also like a dhamma in dhamma as well, like lips forward. So the other examples I can give: noon with shadda. Let's say you know inna. This is also idam uh, malunna, and the reason being is this is in. So this is this is not like yeah, this is similar to idam malunna. Okay, it's not exactly was okay. Well, okay, so this is in the, so whenever you see in the noon with shadda and also mean with shadda, like mean with shadda, let's say um, um, okay, whenever you see noon with shadda, mean with shadda, always hold it, like 
inna ummu. And when you are holding it, okay, you will make that sound as well. Okay? Can you do it? Inna. Inna. Good. Ummu. Ummu. For example, uh, in Surah Al-Nas, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, قُلْ أَعُوذُ You see? Al-Nas. So there is known there with so okay, so we do this as well so annas malikin nas ilahin nas min sharril waswasil khannas alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nas min al jinnati wan nas also when you say like jah janna janna jahannam you see nuns with shadda always when you say like if your friend's name is muhammad muhammad okay so me with shadda nun with shadda hold it and make the uh, sound and then like a ya wa me you you can get many examples of this so you just uh, you just open the quran you will find an example how would you pronounce a ya like if can you yeah okay let's say min Min Sorry Yawm Okay So Min Yawm So you say What are we doing first? First You are changing Noon into Yeah Yeah So this becomes Yeah With Skun So And then you have the Min here So Mi Yeah and then when you change it, you make the sound. Mi ya. Yeah? Mi ya. Still nasal. Mi yes. Mi ya. Yes. Right. Because why it is nasal? Because of one of these four letters. So when we see one of these um, four letters, four letters, or uh, noon or meme with uh, uh, shadda, yes, we think of it gum. Exactly. Right. Hold it a bit, and also. The um, nasal yeah. uh, sound from nasal cavity. So this is idawam, ma'alunna, and bilahunna. Okay, that's good. This is done. Alhamdulillah. So and also you know when you recite, for example, uh, if you hold it with noon and meme, it also gives you this like uh, extra time to read the words in advance. Yeah. Yeah. So. But don't exaggerate it, like, you know, for, I don't know, five minutes in... You know, I, was, I remember I had students like that, like, the guy was like, in... So, come on, like, you know, so, like, you know, I, I, is that bad or is it? But don't exaggerate it, like, you know, so this, okay, so... Right, okay, so this is... Is this understood? Yep. Okay, Alhamdulillah. And um, so the next uh, two, so um, let's talk about the club. Okay, the club means turnover, okay? Turnover. So basically, the club, what is the club letters? Only ba. Huh? Like you are very fortunate. Just one letter. Easy, yeah. Easy peasy. Alright, let's do this one. So just by so what are we looking for? We are looking for Nunusakin or Tanwin. So if we see Nunusakin or Tanwin, and then after that if we see Ba, that's it, this is your club. Right. Then you're gonna do your club. Okay, so let's do your club. So uh, first let's give the example. Uh let's say Min Ba'di. Okay? So Min Okay, so here, now in this case, yeah, we are turning this noon into meme. Okay, so we say, so meme, yeah, mimba. 
Okay? So, and then also, we are making what? Nasal sound. Nasal sound as well. Yeah? So, oh, all these sounds are what, about one length, okay? So, yes. So, this is Mimbadi. Yes? So, what are we looking for? Ba. Afternoon Saki. And then turn it into Mim and make. Yeah, Mimbadi. Okay? And then. Um, an example for uh, Tanween is, let's say, Fa Fa'ambi. Okay, so here, Fa'ambi. So you turn this, this one's normally like An, okay? Yeah. So this is, let's say, An. So you turn this into me, right? And then, just uh, merge them with the sound. So, fa'ambi. Fa'ambi. Yeah. Fa'ambi. Yeah. But I'm just, you know, this is long. Lanas fa'ambi nasiya. Yeah. Like you see, like, lanas fa'ambi. Yeah. You see? Lanas fa'ambi. Normally it is lanas fa'ambi. Look, lanas fa'ambi. But because of iqlaab, lanasfa'an bin nasiyah. And then you have known with shadda, so I hold that as well with the um, ghunna. Okay, so this is good. Alhamdulillah. So, um, so iqlaab is done. Ikhfa. So, the bomb. Okay, ikhfa. Ikhfa means to hide, okay? So this is to hide. And um, so this So any letter, yeah, any letter, apart from these letters, are considered as ikhfa letters. Okay? So how many letters here? There's six here, six here, one. So you have 13? Yeah? So 13 letters. And then I think you're left with what? 15? So, so ikhfa letters, so, so we said ikhfa letters are all the letters of Al uh, alphabet except uh, these 13 letters and these 13 letters this this refers to 2.1 this is for 2.2 this is for 2.3 okay So this is for this is for Ikla Ilham and this is Ilham. Okay? So apart from these letters, all the other letters are Ikhfa letters. So now we will look for all the other letters of alphabet, yeah, apart from these. For example, let's give one example. Just give me one letter that is not here. Okay. In the alphabet. Do, zo. Huh? Do, toy. Toy, okay. So, so. for example, ta. 
Okay? Um, so, so if we say, yeah, let's say there is there's a nervous hygiene, hmm. yeah? Let's let's make it mean, okay, mean and then let's let's, let's make this bar, okay? Hmm. Okay? So you can say you say min tali, okay? You just make this uh, nasal cavity sound min ta. Say min ta. Yeah, min ta. Okay. And let's do another example. Like let's say for example, ta is not here. Hmm? So you can say in ta. So in. Ten. So, in ten. Okay? Um, yes, and ten. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. And ten. But when you speak Arabic, don't do this. Oh, so just the, for Quran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just uh, <laughs> <laughs> the guy may start like saying, uh, like, uh, Subhanallah, Bismillah, you know. He may think. Oh, Alright, right, so. Oh, they may find you weird. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Alright, so. Ikhfa. Okay, yeah. So, for example, we can also give. Men ta okay like yeah men ta right and then yan zuru for example yeah yan zuru again okay yan zuru yeah so all right so this is Ghun, yeah, you are you are making it with Ghunna. Okay. And then about um about ten t example of ten wing, we can uh, like bu let's say bun okay ka okay so you say bun ka okay I say, Kutubun Qayyima Bun Qa. Yes? Okay. So, this is what I want to go What else? Ketsan Dihaqa. Not Ketsan Dihaqa. So, you have seen. And then, Dal. Yeah? Sandihaqa. Yes, this is ikhfa. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Alhamdulillah. Now, I will mention. Um, so, 90% is done. Okay. I will mention just a um, couple of things. And um, let's talk about uh, Lafdatullah, yeah? the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like Allah, the way to pronounce it, okay? So there are uh, two ways to pronounce it. One way is, um, uh, let's go to like, uh, I will say this in name of, the name of uh, Allah, okay? So for example, we say like, you know, Allahu, okay? So, Allahu. So, some say Allahu or something. Okay? So, the, the, the two ways. One is, like, uh, with full mouth. Yes, uh, full mouth and empty mouth. Yeah. So, like, I say, Tarqiq and uh, Tafqeen. Okay. So, let's, um, if you see, let's say there's a, 
Hey. Me. Minallah. Okay. Minallahi. Okay. Uh, or you say Ab. Let's say Abdullahi. Okay. Look. Me. Nallahi. Abdullahi. So these ones. You say it. Um, Like just uh, you know, like normal. There's uh, there's no like lightness in it, okay. But uh, so this is for fatha and and alma. But if there is uh, kasra involved, okay, like b for example, okay, say so billahi, okay. You see, you say billahi. You don't say billahi, okay. Empty mouth. And um, yes, so, and then, um, so that's that, and anything else, I think that I forgot to mention. Okay, so there's also um, um, see. Okay, there's also uh, something called Khalqala. Uh, is uh, it means like echo, okay, echoing or vibra vib vibration or something. Okay, vibration. vibration. Okay, so what are the letters? Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, there's five in total. Okay, and then you have G. As well. da. Uh, yeah. So, what happens is, let's say. You see, um, let's write it, a hand, okay, a hand, so if you see sukun or this, like this jasm, yeah, on any of these letters, okay, and, or, and then these letters are in the, in the middle or at the end of a word, so you make this echoing sound, like for example, a hand, yeah, like, and, Ab, Anj, Ap, okay, Ap, only with these five letters. Like, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Wa Lam Yulad, Wa Lam Yakul Lahu Kufuwan Ahad. You see? Or, Istab Raq, this is another example. Yeah? So this is Qarqala. The, the, the five five letters. Yeah. So, so, so there's a Qasra as well before. Is Qalqala as well, like Iqra? Yep, yes. Iqra, for example. Iqra, bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. So Iqra. So Iqra. Yeah. So. Iqra, bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaq. So when you say khalaq, there you go. So, kha, so khalaq, right? If you stop, if you don't like khalaqin, no. So, say, khalaqi, no khalaqin, no echoing. Khalaq, when you stop, that's it, okay? So, you get a zam to go off. And, uh, inshallah, I will mention. Bismillah ar Yeah. Okay, now we, um, what we've done is we finished uh, the main two chapters that I was uh, telling you guys about. Uh, the first one was uh, about the pro, pro, like elongation, mm -hmm. about ment, and the second one was about Nunus Hakim and Tanwi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and now uh, in this, uh, 
the last uh, half an hour. I will just uh, give you uh, some of the rulings, okay, about some letters, and uh, so it's it's a bit like uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Okay. So it's gonna be uh, like that. So and uh, <coughs> before we. Um, uh, took a break. Uh, I was uh, talking about the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So um, let me um, uh, reiterate some of the points here uh, about this, inshallah. So what we said, first of all, this is the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We say Allah uh, Allah. So if there is fatha or dhamma before the word of Allah, okay. So the lamb, this lamb, will be heavy. Okay? So, minallahi. Ab, abdullahi. Okay? If there is a kasra, in this case, before lamb, then it's going to be light. Billahi. Tillahi. Okay? So when we say Allahu, yeah. So Wallahi, okay. Wa Fatha. So Wa like this one. Min Allahi. So heavy, and when it is B, Kasra, Billahi, okay. Fillahi, yeah. Tillahi. Not tillahi, huh? It's not tillahi or billahi. Billahi, dullahi, okay? Or minallahi. So that's about lafzatullah. Is that clear? Hmm? Yes. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, this was, uh, um, I call this. Uh, 3.1, okay? 3.1. Mm -hmm. This is the third section. Okay, so name of Allah. Now, second. So this is love of Allah. So this, is, this was 3.1. Now, let's talk about 3.2. 3.2. This is called Shukmur Ra, letter Ra. And, but before we, we get to letter Ra, I would like to remind you of uh, hair. Do you remember like we were talking about the, the hair at the end? Hmm. Uh, hair. Like for example, Lain, in the hole. Okay. So this hair is Damir. Okay. Uh, it, damir is, it can come like uh, at the end of uh, certain words. And uh, it means, for example, he, in this case, it means like he. And Damir is like he, she, mm -hmm. you know, um, you, whom, they, you know. So they come mainly at the end. They can also come like uh, at the beginning, like uh, you can say like, like whoever or something, okay. But now we are talking about these, the ends, okay? So this is called Damir. Also, like, uh, you can call these chapters, like, Bab, okay? Like, Bab al-Damir, Bab al Allah. okay? Bab, you know, Huruf al mad or Bab this, Bab is like chapter. It also means, like, door, you open, door, you know what? So, Indahu. So we said, actually, there is a hidden wow here. It's like, you know, who and then wa, right? That's what we said. Mm. And then, when we were like looking at it, we were saying, okay, uh, how do we decide this? We say, okay, before her, before the damir, yeah, there is a letter with fatha. Okay? That's why we can prolong this, who, yeah, in the who. But if there was no, let's, let's say, you know, min, um, Say minhu, okay? Say minhu. Now, before her, the letter has 
sukun. Mm. So it doesn't have fatha mm. or dhamma or kasra. So then you don't prolong this hair. You just say min hu. Now if you look at like the overall picture, we are always like looking for a specific letter. Mm. Okay? And what happens to that letter if you compare, you know, the previous le uh, letter to that specific letter or, or the letter after? This this is the overall picture of Tajweed. That's all. So, and this is about Dhammi. So we said like, Aindahu, okay, we prolong this. There's hidden the wild, you know. This is mental tabi'ain, this is fundamental, right? but it is hidden. So in this case, we don't because the letter before uh, her, has sukun, so it is inactive. So the letter has to be active, this one, so that we can prolong this. So you can also uh, say like, you know, um, bihi. Yeah? Look, we also prolong this. Bihi. Right? But if it was, let's say, fihi. We don't say fi he, all right? Because mm -hmm. the letter he is inactive. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, all right. So this is this is um, this is also like uh, this. We can we can call this the, the rules about uh, ha or the rules about uh, damir at the, at the end of the word. Is that between this and what you said in part one? Does that cover all the rules of heart? Because you you mentioned in part one. Mm. And I, I slightly like touched upon it. Well, mm. Just I just want to mention it again, like you know, to like recap and well, because you know, uh, I I'm trying to like give you the understanding rather than everything like precise. Mm. Although I really explain everything mm. uh, more or less in detail. Because when you go home, when you see it, inshallah, it's going to be much clearer. So now, like 3.2, I will talk about the rules of uh, Ra. Okay? Rules of a uh, letter. Or, or the letter. Okay? So Ra. Okay? There are rules to this letter. Like, you know, there are rules to Lafzatullah. There are rules to this Abamir Ha. So uh, this, okay. So now uh, these they depend on um, the haraka, okay? So if we if we just do this, okay? So fatha, dhamma, and then kasra, okay? Let's do this. kasra. So it is it is clear. So this is dhamma and fatha, <coughs> okay? And then. So if it is fatha or dhamma, this is heavy. Okay? If it is kasra, it's light. Don't get confused uh, with you know lightness and, and heaviness of medalazm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with that. So for example, if ra has this ra, you just say ra. Yeah? Or you say ru. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But when it has kasra, you say Z. Hmm. Okay? Is that clear? Yep. So it's one is full mouth and other empty mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. could, could you explain uh, the full mouth? When no, no, forget about full, empty, this, that, yeah? Just uh, look. Forget about all the terminology. There are many terminologies out there, yeah? Mm. Some call it full, some call it this, some call it that. And then you just start thinking, oh, which one was it full? What was full? What was mouth what was like forget it just call it like just simple yeah heavy light so when we say heavy like it's like strong like you know blue raw okay but light z yeah that's it right that's it the, yeah. the rules of no no the, 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 it's coming it's coming right. no, this is just <laughs> okay so um and then Let's talk about, um, okay, so this is like uh, when the letter on its, okay. So now if we look at the letter, yeah, previously, previous letter to Dura, 
sometimes uh, uh, we get that. So, and uh, we will see now, for example, um, we should see some examples. Let me uh, let me find some examples. Okay, so um, when we say Ar Rahman, no Ra, you said the Ra has Fatha Ar Rahman, so that's good. Well, Ruh, you see, Ruh, you don't say Ruh, Ruh. It's like similar to you know, Lafzatullah, Allah, Billah. Okay, so, so the second one is you can say Wan Har. Let's write it, okay? So, one half, okay? So here, as you can see, Ra is sakin. So when Ra is sakin, what you do is, you look at the previous letter. In this case, it's Ha, okay? So Ha is Fatha. So then, we pronounce Ra, so one half. So um, if it is do uh, okay. Let's say shakar. So this is shakar, okay? But we stopped on Ra. So it becomes Shakar. So, because we stop, we look at the one previous letter. Naqa. Yeah. So it has Fatha, so we say Shakar. Shakar. So strong. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, if it is also, let's say, U, yeah, then it's the same. Shakur. Okay. Or Nudu. Bin Nudu. Okay? Okay, so now let's go uh, to... Um, uh -huh. Let's say we also looked yeah, at this letter, previous letter, and then we found that the previous letter is also second. Hmm. So what we're gonna do now? Then we go to the other previous, like you know, previous, previous kind of. So an example is um, this sabr. Okay, let's write that down. So B is sabr. So this sabr. So you look. So if we want to stop it, it's gonna be the sabr. Okay. Now we have a problem. Let's go back to this one. Okay. Again, cycling. And then we go to this one, and we see fatha. Then we say, okay. Then we will recite to our. So be sabr, not be sabr. Okay. But if you do not stop it, if you carry on, be sabr. Okay. So it's like. Okay, so this is another one. Why is it light if you stop? Huh? Why is it light if you stop? Or no, if you light? stop, it is heavy. Oh, if you don't so, stop, then. Oh, because of Kesra. Oh, okay, fine. See? So, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um. Okay, also, um, if Ra, so we call like uh, when it is like this, we call this Ra Sakin. So if Ra is Sakin, and the letter before Ra, okay, um, is a Aridhi. So Aridhi is like. Uh, like this, uh, let me give you an example. Irji'i, okay? Irji'i, okay? Okay, Irji'i. So 
So here this is, yeah, uh, that one is Hamza, yeah, but it's not Hamza Qat'i, which means like uh, it is, it is a Hamza, if there is something else here, yeah, you can just join from this to Ra directly, you can ignore the Hamza there, okay, so like, uh, So if this is the case, then if it is, um, if it has kasra, then you recite this again heavy, like irujii, okay? Irujii, not is, okay? This is irujii. Sorry, I missed that. Why is it RJ? Because there's no joining. Yeah, because this Hamza is not Hamza Qat'i. Mm. It is Hamza Wasli. Like you just, uh, you can just, there are two types of Hamza. One Hamza is you cannot ignore it. Like uh, when you are like, uh, when it is, let's say, in the middle, and you, if you are like joining from here to there, okay? Let me give you one example. Mm. You know when I say, Ya ayyuha al-ladina. Hmm? So when you say, Ya ayyuha, so you have, you have this, um, okay, so you have, ayyuha, and then, al-ladina. Okay, you see this, Hamza here, is Hamza like Wasli. So it means like you can just, uh, we can just walk over it kind of thing. Okay, so Ayyu Halladina. Yeah? Like Ayyu Halladina. <coughs> Not walk over it, like, you know, walk. So what I'm trying to say is you don't pronounce this Ayyu Halladina. How would I know that if I was reading? How would I know that I can ignore this Hamza? Because the, normally they don't have haraka, like uh, Fatha, Dhamma, or Kasra. Okay. Or they have something like 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 this, then you understand. Just that's why like, it depends on your Quran. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But just uh, it is obvious. It's there. Okay. So, and uh, if it. <laughs> And also, they don't have, I think, uh, broken. Uh, but it depends on the Quran, like, it depends on the script. Okay. So, but if you, let's say, you know, stop here, then you want to carry on, you can say, Al-Ladina, because the essence of this is Al-Ladina. So if you have this type of, yeah, like letter there, like that, and after this one, if you have Ra, Skun, yeah, and if this letter's Haraka um, or Vau is Kasra, then you recite this or you read this Ra as heavy. This is, you know, like exceptional case, okay? But it's, uh, it's, it's good to know. So, Yerujiai, you don't say Ir. That's an exception to what you were saying before. It yes, yeah. Hamza, right? Normally, like the logic dictates that we should do, uh, so recite that rod softly, so but this is like not the case. So it's just, uh, it's, it's good to know these exceptions. There are many exceptions that I can't go through, hmm. but inshallah, because I gave you overall picture, hmm. so you will, you will inshallah. But this is, uh, we have done really, alhamdulillah, really good. Also, um, there are some letters, okay, uh, they are called like um, Kha, okay, I'll say Kha, and then uh, you have Saad, and then you have uh, Vaad, and then Ghayn, uh, Tu, Qaf, and then Adhi, yeah? So if if Ra, if Ra comes before these letters, 
Okay? And before Ra, any letter with Kesra comes. An example, like Mir, say Mir Sadin. Okay? Mir Sadin. Normally, we should read this Ra soft. Because if there is Ra, if there is Ra, Sakin, and before the Ra, if there's a letter with Kesra, then this is with, uh, read as right. But if one of these letters come, like this Sa, then uh, it doesn't, it, uh, you can't read it like that. You read it strong, like Mirosadin. Because if, if we were to read this as like light, it will be really hard for our tongue to pronounce this because Sad is, is a strong letter. Mm. And same like, you know, uh, these are like Afta, these are strong letters. So it will be like weird, like reading this is Mir. You see the Mir is Sad, Mir is so, like. I'm just exaggerating by, you know. Like, what if a Sad was Sakin, like it was a, you know, it didn't have a mark? Would you still follow that rule, but you make the... Which one? Let, let's say the Saad Ve, it right. didn't have a mark, it was also... What did you say, Sakin? It was... Yeah, like... This didn't have? Yeah. So you mean, are yeah. you saying this? Yeah. Mirs. So you would just join it? You know, if there is something like that, I will definitely mention. Okay. If I'm not mentioning that, this is not your Quran. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so you are talking about like, uh, what... You know, all the examples that I give hmm. is mainly like in the Quran, in that form. And uh, so, I don't remember anything in Quran like, uh, called like Mirs, no. But Mirs saw is. Okay? There's a, there's another example is Qir Taasin. Yeah? Qir Taasin. So you have Ra, Sakin, and then uh, you look at the previous letter, it has Kasra, but after Ra, Sakin, you have Ta. Yeah, so three, okay, so that is it. Another one is, um, so these are mainly, we talked about what? The heavy ones, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about the, the ones that um, uh, are written light. Oh, sorry, um, uh, red, uh, red uh, light. Oh, the only one we, we said was just uh, rice hacking and then the previous letter, whatever it is, gonna have Kesla, right? Okay, let's look at these. Um, for example, um, yeah, one example was this one. Birzi, okay, Bil Birzi. So we recite light, yeah? Because if, if you do this, this is like this, isn't it? Yeah? And this is, we know it is Z. This one is also because of this, yeah, beers, beers, good. <coughs> Second one, wastafirhu, okay, so wastadir, so if you have, yeah, again, like, you know, beers or wastafirhu, yeah, same thing, like, uh, firhu, so, you know, fir. yeah, mm -hmm. So, um, so feel again like light. And then the four, fourth one is if you say, let's say, you know, Khair. Uh, Khair. Okay. So, if Ra is Sakin, and before Ra, there is a, a letter of Madlin. What were the letters of Madlin? Yeah and wow. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if these two are before this, uh, before Ra, Sakin, then you recite Ra light. Like Khair. Yeah? Or Seir. Yeah? So Seir. Seir. Okay, you don't say Seir. Okay. okay, so there are also some uh, some places it is it um, 
Like for example, Philippine. Okay? Philippine. Philippine. Here, both of them jaris. Hmm. Like you can either say Philippine or Philippine. Okay? Uh, okay. Um, okay, so this is a uh, uh, chapter of Ra. And again, can I ask, is it, this is, uh, you mentioned it was Jai's, like, is, are these rules, do they have the same kind of thing, Wajib, Jai's? If, if I say specifically Wajib, then it is Wajib. If I'm not saying, that means... Uh, Jai's. Not, Jai's, but you know, you the should it, yeah. You should not, like... Ignore should, it, yeah. Yeah, you should... Uh, okay, now 3.3, uh, I'll go 3.3. And this one is an interesting one, it's called the uh, sector. Okay, so sector. So Babu sector. Sector is like to pause on uh, on that uh, like uh, the, the, on, on that letter. And we will see. So it's like you're a sector to qata'u sauti duna nafas. So you just um, you just cut your recitation, yeah? At a point, and you don't breathe in and out anything. So I have to show you this, otherwise, uh, th like you know, there are bits that you, which you cannot, like you know, understand. The one has to show it here. And uh, how many uh, sekta? It, it has nothing to do with letters. It's just you know, there are places where you just do this rule, and there are four places, four places, okay, of sekta. And one is uh, Surah Al Kah, okay, Kah, verse one two. This one is like Aywaja, uh, okay, Qay uh, Qayman, okay, so Qayman. So here you will see this. Um, you may see this, like, you know, sign it. Actually, there's a... Okay. So here, yeah, you do that. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So this one, you just do this, look. Normally, you would read, Anyway, And then, yeah, take, take a breath, and then, Qayyiman, yeah, carry on. Or you can say, Aywajan Qayyiman, yeah? No, what you do is, when you, you are reciting and then you pause, when you come here. Because this is the point of sector. So you do this, Aywajan Qayyiman Liyudhira. Look, what did I do? I did not breathe in anything out, anything like, I want to recite in. I will start reciting from the, the beginning of this verse, and then, and then when I come here, you will notice what I do, okay? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi anzal ala abdihi al-kitab wa lam yaj'al lahu iwaja qayyiman liyundir ba'san shadeedan min ladun Salamu alaykum. This is Sakta. Is that clear? How you do it? Alright, so that's good. And uh, the, the other one is uh, Surah Yasin. So Yasin. And uh, that's uh, verse 52. Okay? This one is Mimmar Qadina Hada. Okay? Mimmar Qadina Hada Mawa. You see? Yes? This isn't based on any kind of rule, it's just for specific places. Yeah, this is how the... How it is. Yes, yeah. how it is, you just... Okay? That's all, like no rules or, or letters, nothing. And, um, okay, so... Oh, there, there is a reason behind it, but... Oh, sure, no, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't want to... But it's not like a rule we learn, as in it can come up anywhere, specific places which we won't remember which places it is. Yeah, 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 you, you will see this. And also I'm giving you the numbers, so when you recite Quran, you can check. Also in, in most Qur'ans, I think it just says it there, like sector or some oh, right. sort of sign. Okay. And then the other one is uh, Surah Qiyamah, okay? Qiyamah. So verse 27, okay? So this one is Waqila Man, okay? So it's like... Okay, so it's man, 
and then you have raq. So okay, raq. So you can laqila man. You see, look, laqila man, raq. No okay. breath, nothing. No, laqila man, raq. That's it. So this is the third one, and then the fourth one is Surah Al-Mutaffifin. So Mutaffifin. So Mutaffifin. So it's verse fourteen. That one is Kalla Bal Rana. So you have Bal. Okay. So Bal Rana. So Kalla Bal Rana Ala Qulubihim. Bal Rana. Okay, this is called sector. Good, this is done as well. Now, um, what are we left with? I think we've covered everything. Sector, <coughs> and uh, yep. Yes, okay, so we covered almost everything, but as far as I remember, like, you know, I, I haven't uh, come here, like, you know, prepared everything, so, uh, okay, now I will go through, uh, just, uh, just uh, three places uh, of, uh, in the Quran, there are like three, four places that, uh, at the moment, like, uh, you know, I remember. And, um, so, if, if I, if I tell you these uh, bits, do, can, can you bring Qur'an? Uh, is, if, if you can. And make sure it is, uh, if you have, like, Arabic, like, a scripture, it's much better. Uh, rather than, like, um, Urdu. Okay, so now we are talking about these um, like different rulings in in the Quran, and uh, these are like all over the place. So I will mention as much as I can. I can, inshallah. Uh, if I haven't said anything at the end of this lesson, it's not gonna even be adding up to just one percent. So I believe that I covered. Uh, 99% or 100% As you said, it's a yeah. crash course, isn't it? Yeah. And it has been covered, yes I'll cover covered everything with, with these things mm -hmm. that I will mention in show. So, now the first thing I want to say is uh, In Surah Baqarah, uh, verse 245 the, uh, At the end uh, this um, line it says Asanam Sunnah Wallahu Yaqa Bidu wa Yab Soto. Okay? So when you say that Yab Sut Okay? So Yab Sut Yab Sut So this sad okay for example in this Quran there is also seen on top of it. This means you can recite this with sin or with sod. So yad sud or yad sud. So it's up to you, right? Okay. And uh, so you can recite it both ways. However, however, it, it is easy for you. And then uh, we go to um, Surah Al-Araf, and um, this um, uh, verse sixty-nine. And uh, in in there, there is also a, a similar case, uh, like uh, the one in the Surah Al-Baqarah. And um, that one is Bas Ba. Okay. So let me put this here. Um, that one is Bas. Okay. So same thing. So you have seen. Okay. So that means you can decide this in in both ways. So if you come across like this, oh, what is this? This scene and the sad and what's going on and this that. 
So now you know. So this is done. Now let's go <coughs> to uh, our damir. Okay. So for example, lehu. Lehu means just you know, you know, like belongs to him or or for him in that sense. And bihi is like kind of it can be like you know with him or something. Like basically, damir, yeah, is related to uh, these ha. Also, there are the dam damir as well, damir. But like we are talking about it. So when it is like lehu, what what did we say? We extend who, right? Why? Because that he. When it is bihi, because this is not. Uh, so because this is active with the haraka, the previous letter, so that's why we elongate this. In this case, for example, e ilayhi, okay, e ilayhi. So we don't say ilayhi. Why? Because the this year is inactive. Inactive, right? It's, it's the cycle. So that's why it does. It. But there is one exception in Surah Al-Furqan, okay. So. Let's um, go and find that one. It is uh, at the end of Surah Al Furqan, the last page. And uh, here, so it's not going to be وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَ Alright? So, uh, although there's a letter which is not active there, because this is an exception, we elongate this ha. So we say فِيهِ مُهَانَ also, it is also mentioned that, uh, uh, with this, okay, like that. So this also says that uh, uh, you should prolong it. So, and this was the exception, and that's done. Okay, it says using Mahana. Now let's come to this, uh, the, like, um, also you will see, okay, you will see Anna, Okay. Written with like noon and then elif. So this is not ana. Okay. So be careful about the ana word ana in Quran. So you just um, uh, read as ana. This is not ana. Okay. Why is that? It's just the way it's written. Yes, it is written like this, but pronounced ana. Always. Always. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so another one is like لكن or لكن like again like you know so be careful with this that's why like uh, inshallah when you read the Quran yeah or before you you read the Quran either follow it uh, with uh, you know a reciter let's say you know choose a, a juz or a chapter and uh, play it behind and also follow it and see how the site is pronounced in you know everything is pronunciation yeah, is good and uh, so you are following everything so you can you can pick mm. uh, on these uh, things if you can't find uh, an imam or something mm. okay. so okay so that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's it so okay this one this one is, um, you will see this one in uh, uh, Surah Al-Mursalat, which is just uh, the uh, end of uh, Juz 29, oh, then, then this, is, this is in the opposite page of uh, Surah Amma, okay? And it starts, uh, it starts as like, أَلَمْ نَخْلُقْكُمْ مِمَّا So here, there's idram, okay? So you see this qaf and there's kaf here. Yeah. So this one, yeah, like it is hard to pronounce this. Okay, imagine there's also qalqala here. Like nakhluqukum is hard, you know? Or alam nakhluqukum. So we make idram here. You turn this qaf into kaf. So you say alam nakhluqukum, okay? So you make idram here. So this is. So you, this is like calf with shadda, right? Clear? So same here. 
So you have abad tum. So for example, this dal is abad tum. It's hard. Again, there's idram here abad tum. So you just turn this into ta. Okay. We just so abad tum, abad tum. So here is the same like you know ta bumps into ta. So same thing. You just turn it into uh, ta. And then here, yalhath dalika. It is hard. Look, yalhath dalika. So you just uh, turn this into that. So yalhath dalika. Yalhath dalika. Okay. Here, il volamu hard. So you just do il volamu. Just turn this into ta. And then il kab maana. And uh, this one is uh, again in 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 Surah Hud. So il kab. Ma'ana, you turn this ba into meme. So you you recite this il kam ma'ana. Ya bunayyar kam ma'ana. Okay? So, and, and this is that. And we are left with these three. Okay, so let's start uh, from, from Surah Hud. And uh, this is called Imala. And um, inshallah, with these three, we will uh, finalize uh, Tajweed. And um, okay, so so here there is uh, in Surah to Hud, okay, verse um, forty-one. So you have Maj, let me see, Maj, Reha, okay, okay. Also that like uh, in Kab. Um, Ma'ana also here in, in verse 40, 42. Okay, like so, ba turn into me like your kam ma'ana, ya buna ya kam ma'ana in verse 42, Surah to Hud, same, same, in the same page. Okay, so and uh, this imana is magic. So when you re when you read this one, you, you, you see that it's like maj, okay? There's qalqala here. Maj, it seems like ra ha, okay? But there's imala here. Because of that, you will um, read this ra a bit, uh, a bit like uh, between, a bit close to like um, kasra, like this. Maj reha. Okay, so when we are reciting, for example, let's start with that. وَقَالَ أَرْكَبُوا فِيهَا بِسْمِ اللَّهِ مَجْرِيهَا وَمُرْسَاهَا Yeah, so مَجْرِيهَا Okay, so this is not مَجْرَاهَا But it's like a bit close to this كَسْرَ uh, Like, yeah, not exactly كَسْرَ but almost. Okay, so this is إِمَالَة and then we come to Surah to Yusuf. There is Ishman there. Okay, don't worry about these technicalities. Just know how to pronounce it. Also, if you uh, go online and, and, and listen to um, these reciters, you will hear it. But like uh, unless I, I like or someone else who's um, who studied all these and. Uh, don't show it to you like uh, properly, then it is hard to figure out these Tajweed rules just by listening. Okay? So, for example, we're going to see this Ishman, Surah to Yusuf. In Surah to Yusuf, this is uh, verse 11. Okay? This is verse, verse 11. So, this one is La Ta'man. Nah, okay. The nah. 
Okay. So la ta'manna. Okay. So here, how do you read this normally? La ta'manna. Okay. But the ismam here, so that's because of that you will recite this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qalu ya abana malaka la ta'manna. You are all looking at the board. <laughs> Look at my lips. Okay, the, 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 the key point here is in the lips, okay? Sana bismillah. Qalu ya abana malaka la ta'manna. Okay, you see, there's ishmaam here. Can you make it? Look, la ta'manna. La ta'manna. Your lips, look at my lips. La ta'manna. La ta'manna. You do? La ta'manna. La ta'manna. Ya Allah. Move your lips. La ta'manna. Alright, okay, so this is Ishmael. Do this one. Majreha. This one. Majreha. 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 You do? Majreha. Not re. Majreha. 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 This is between like a uh, kasra. It's close to kasra. Not exactly, but. Majreha. 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 And bring the stick. Seriously. What this is guy. Majreha. Majreha. Okay. So you have to practice this, right? So the last one, Tasheel. This is in Surah, surah Fussalat. Okay? And then... Um, surah Fussalat is one of the Hamims. So, and uh, the verse is... Uh, 44. Verse. And... Uh, and the, the verse is وَلَوْ جَعَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا أَعْجَمِيًّا لَقَالُوا لَوْلَا فُصْلَتْ آيَاتُهُ And then a أَعْجَمِيُّ So أَعْجَمِيُّ Okay So this one, yeah, normally you so there's Hamza here, there's another Hamza, okay, so you say a a'jami. Okay, so it's not like that. So tasheel you do a a'jam, like a a'jami. Okay, this is tasheel. So and if you practice this, a a'jami. A a'jami. So Sana Bismillah. وَلَوْ جَعَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا لَقَالُوا وَلَوْ جَعَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا أَعْجَمِيًّا لَقَالُوا لَوْلَا فُصِّلَتْ آيَاتُهُ أَعْجَمِيُّ عَرَبِيٌّ Okay? سعنا بسم الله وَلَوْ جَعَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا أَعْجَمِيًّا لَقَالُوا لَوْلَا فُصِّلَتْ آيَاتُهُ um, uh, also in the uh, Surah al um there's the, just this last thing that I just remembered, I want to mention this. And um, Surah al -Rum. in um, verse 45, okay, Surah al verse 45, the uh, verse is Allahu alladhi khalaqakum min ضعفين. Okay. So, ضعفين. Uh, okay. So, ضعفين. So, this can be also um, uh, recited as ضعفين. Okay. So, ضعفين أو ضعفين. Alright. So, it says الله الذي خلقكم من ضعف ثم جعل من بعد ضعف قوة ثم جعل من بعد قوة ضعفا وشيبا. So I recited this with Fatha. You can also recite this. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم with ضمة. 
الله الذي خلقكم من ضعف ثم جعل من بعد ضعف قوة ثم جعل من بعد قوة ضعفا وشيبة يخلق ما يشاء وهو العليم القدير صلى الله عليه وسلم And this is the end of uh, Tadwee According to Hafs And um, who learned it from Imam Asim Okay So inshallah um, I recommend you to um, Practice Go uh, online and choose the surahs that you are comfortable with, okay? And then practice these uh, rules. And uh, if you are having any difficulties, just um, find some reciters and then listen to them and then see, ah, oh, okay, this is it, this is that. And the rest is all up to you. And inshallah, uh, if you practice, I'm not exaggerating, I had some students, they uh, really like learned it so quickly that in after about two weeks they were reciting exactly like the Imams of Kama. Okay, so you are now different and you, you can do this easily. So just uh, you have to put some effort in it. And um, so, inshallah. Uh, also, this gives you some sort of overall picture, and with this, uh, you can also build upon it uh, if you want to. And about, uh, I have mentioned all the necessary bits. And uh, so, if I have made a mistake, it is from me. And uh, any any anything good. Uh, inshallah from this uh, lecture uh, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and jazakum Allah